Hey Techno Studs, in this video, we're gonna talk about traffic policing and shaping. Traffic policing is something that you would do to minimize or to limit the amount of traffic that's going across the link. This is something that maybe a internet service provider would do is limit how much traffic is going across the link based off of what the customer is paying for. And then there's traffic uh, shaping and shaping is something that we can do so that way we can make sure we stay within our limits. So let's talk about traffic policing and shaping. Let's first of all start by talking about policing. Policing is a way to limit how much bandwidth you have across the connection. You may want to do this because maybe you don't want to saturate one of your connections down the line. So you limit how much bandwidth is going across it. Another example of this is what internet service providers do. I pay for a certain amount of bandwidth from my internet service provider. They are capable of providing me a lot more bandwidth for more money. But what they do is they limit how much bandwidth I have based off of what I pay them for. And so that is what policing does, is it cuts off the extra data that's going across here that you're trying to use extra. This line right here that you're paying for, that is called the CIR or the Committed Information Rate. So one other thing that some providers allow you to do and some type of services allow you to do is something called bursting. So a lot of traffic tends to, uh, or some traffic tends to uh, create these bursts of uh, requests or bursts of information or bursts of bandwidth, and then it tapers back down. An example of this is when you queue up a movie to watch, it needs to download a lot of information and queue some, uh, uh, some information so that way you don't have any kind of stutters and that kind of stuff. Well, you'll see the bandwidth kind of spikes at first and then it'll come down back down. So some services will allow you still to go above the committed information rate with this bursting. So that is something that's available also on certain services. Now, because we don't want our traffic to just get dropped, we don't want the internet service provider to just start dropping some of our traffic. So what we can do is we can do what's called traffic shaping. Traffic shaping allows us to understand what the bandwidth is that's available to us and then be able to queue up packets to send them when there is more time. So what I mean by that is, is we know that this top part right here is going to cut off here. So maybe I do some traffic shaping so that this data actually gets held back a little bit and gets sent then in, in uh, once there's the bandwidth comes back down. So this information gets sent during these low times right here, and it smooths out the traffic. It creates a more smooth lines uh, that goes up and maintains an even amount of traffic going across that connection. So that is traffic shaping. One reason why I might want to use traffic shaping is across a internet service provider that's doing traffic policing. So I'd shape the traffic that's going to go across that policed area. So that is traffic shaping and we talked about traffic policing. 